Hey, what's up guys? Fabio here once again, and I want to welcome everybody back to another video. And today I'm coming at you with another paid request. This is another one from Yule, who wanted me to take a look at some more martial arts movies, Hong Kong action movies. And today I will be talking about the sentimental Sammo Hung classic, Eastern Condors, which is a part of the three films with Sammo Hung. Uh, Blu-ray collection from Eureka. I believe this is still in print. I'm not entirely sure about that, but I believe this one uh, you can still get um, for a good price. With the slipcover, I don't know, but um, yeah, I believe this one is still available out there. It also includes Iron Fisted Monk and Magnificent Butcher, which I have actually never seen those movies. Um, I bought this because of Eastern Condors. Um, but Iron Fisted Monk is Samo's directorial debut, and then Magnificent Butcher is kind of like the spiritual sequel to Drunken Master, so I'll have to give uh, those two movies a look one of these days here, but today, uh, again, well, again, the reason why I got this set is because of Eastern Condors, great movie, I love it, and we're going to talk all about that today. But before I go any further, if anyone would like to help contribute, to the channel by sending in a paid request such as this you may do so down below in the description box there is a link to my paypal account no amount is too big no amount is too small it does not have to be just a movie review it could be a tv series cartoon comic book video game music random thoughts rants streams commentaries and anything in between that's what the paid request is set up for so again if you are interested, go ahead, send it in, and I will get to it as soon as I possibly can. And for those that have sent them in before, thank you. I greatly appreciate it. It means you guys actually care about what I say and do here on the channel, and you want to see me try some different things. And it does motivate me to keep wanting to make videos, so it's a win-win for everybody. You guys get more of the type of videos that you want to see me cover here on the channel, and I keep making them. And at the end of the day, everyone goes home happy. Just like they used to say at Blockbuster. So thank you. But like I said, Eastern Condors is a classic. You could argue that it is Sammo Hung's best film. Unfortunately, I have not seen a lot of Sammo's solo work. So movies in this collection. I also have from Eureka, I have Encounters of the Spooky Kind and Millionaires Express at Home. And then I know... Um, within the past couple of months, they have released a bunch more, like um, Warriors 2 and Prodigal Son. Um, and uh, actually, I have the list right here on my phone. I can just take a peek at it quick. Uh, they did Mr. Vampire a while ago. Um, Skinny Tiger and Fat Dragon, Odd Couple. So, yeah, they, uh, they put out a bunch of Samo solo stuff. But like I said... I have not seen a lot of it. Um, I think, you know, Eastern Condors may be the only one, to be honest. And then, uh, excuse me, sorry about that. The uh, Martial Law TV series, obviously, because I think that was my first exposure to Samu Hung was there. Um, but I definitely need to check out more of the solo work. I've just been, you know, focusing on some other things. But again, you could argue that Eastern Condors is his best movie. Um, I'm sure as time goes on and I check out more of his films, Eastern Condors, it may not be number one, but it will definitely be in the top five for me because I absolutely love this film. Um, it's basically The Dirty Dozen. If you've seen The Dirty Dozen, um, you're pretty much getting the same type of movie with this. But for those that haven't seen it, and just for the sake of doing the video, Eastern Condors is about uh, this group of 12, is it 12 guys? 10, I couldn't remember. I think in Dirty Dozen, it, oh yeah, Dirty Dozen is 12. But there's 10 um, prisoners with military backgrounds that are assigned um, this mission by the American government to go into Vietnam and destroy a weapon stockpile before anyone else gets it. And... If they complete the mission successfully, they will get a bunch of money, they will get pardoned, and they will basically be free. 
And, of course, nothing goes as planned. The mission is aborted, but it's too late. They already go in. They deal with a lot of uh, rebels and people that come along for the journey, and they're not exactly who they say they are. And in the course of all this, we have a lot of great action sequences, as you would come to expect. Um, you know, with Sammo Hung and Hong Kong action, you know, in general. But, yeah, this movie has a lot of great action sequences. It's a great combination of the martial arts stuff and the gunplay. Now, you have to remember, when this came out, this was 1987. So, A Better Tomorrow had just come out, which pretty much launched the heroic bloodshed genre, not just in Hong Kong film, but, you know, worldwide film as well. So this is coming hot off of the heels of that film, and this definitely uh, has that influence in there, and it was also influenced by, again, The Dirty Dozen, a lot from Rambo First Blood Part Two. Rambo First Blood Part Two was probably, at the time that this movie came out, the biggest action film um, from, like, 85 to whenever, probably 91 and then Terminator 2, but... There's definitely a lot of influences from the two movies that I mentioned. Well, three movies, if if you want to throw in A Better Tomorrow in there. So, yeah, um, this has a great mix of that. And, of course, Sammo Hung uh, not only starred in the film, but he directed it. And has a great supporting cast as well. Um, And it all gelled because you had, you know, again, Sammo Hung. Yoon Biao is in the film. He's like this young guy who lives there who's trying to get away from there and then you have Yoon Wa who of course worked with Bruce Lee and Jackie Chan um a couple of years after this movie came out another film that's celebrating its anniversary this year uh Super Cop he played Panther the main villain in Jackie Chan's uh Police Story 3 Super Cop so yeah i mean you have a lot of people that worked in that genre that put all this together which is nice and You know, again, there's a great mix. Um, You know, you have a a scene, action scene where this boat comes along and they blow it up and everything. Obviously, that was the Rambo 2 influence. And a little bit of uh, Invasion USA as well, because the characters are like hiding out like on this house that's on the water with like the stilts. And that was definitely from Invasion USA because Chuck Norris's character lived in that type of... uh, excuse me, home as well. I mean, there's scenes where Sam was running around with a machete, chopping people's heads off. You know, uh, the final showdown in the missile silo was great. They throw a grenade in Yoon Wah's mouth and blow him up. And, you know, him and Yoon Biao get to fight, or Sammo Hung and Yoon Biao get to fight Yoon Wah. So, yeah, I mean, this movie from start to finish, is just is a classic with so many great action sequences and this is another one like once upon a time in china where it's hard for me to review it because everyone knows about this film if you're a fan of hong kong action cinema you know about eastern condors if you're a fan of sammo hung you definitely know about eastern condors but you know i just really really enjoyed this film now i've only ever seen it one other time um i had the Here in America, Fox put it out because in the early 2000s, Fox had a deal with Fortune Star and they released a lot of uh, of their movies on DVD. They did the Bruce Lee movies, which they were remastered and uncut for the first time in America. They did Eastern Condors. They did some Jackie Chan films. Um, I don't think that label had a name, if I I remember correctly. I, I don't think it had a name. Um, but they released a bunch of Hong Kong uh, action films. And I found that DVD really cheap because I had always wanted to see this movie. And, um, yeah, I, I saw this for the first time finally a couple years ago. And then when this, uh, not when this Blu-ray came out because the copyright is 2019, and I definitely did not get it in 2019. I think I got it last year. Um, actually, I take that back. Um this might be out of print because I think I grabbed it because it was going out of print. So I, I might actually have been wrong about that. This this Blu-ray might be out of print now. So sorry. 
But if it is, I, I at least I corrected the mistake while I was recording here instead of later, which is what I typically do. So my bad about that. But the other thing is, like a lot of most all the actually, excuse me, I'm getting ahead of myself. All the fight scenes, they kick the shit out of each other. Like they really went at it. I think the only time that they didn't like go full contact was to the face and to the groin. But they kicked the ever living shit out of each other in this movie for real. Which is a standard, honestly, of Hong Kong cinema, and it does happen in American movies. It's just pretty rare because that's when lawyers get involved, that's when people get sued, and you know all that good stuff. But the realism, um, you know, again, Sammo Hung directed this film as well, so obviously, as both an actor and as a director, he wants to make it as real as possible, and he lost weight, like obviously. Sammo Hung, one of his trademarks is being a bigger guy, but he's able to pull off all the action sequences. But he lost 30 pounds for the role because he wanted to be more believable as a soldier. But yeah, he's flipping and flying and shooting people and cutting heads off and blowing shit up. And, you know, this is as classic as Hong Kong action as you can get, as far as I'm concerned. Um... I do also have this on Laserdisc because uh, Tai Sien released it here many, many moons ago. I do have that um, at home. And if I ever find a VHS copy of it, I would definitely love to pick it up because this movie is just such a classic. I never get tired of it. And then um, it does have, because I've only ever seen the international version, that's on here as well as a feature. And then there's interviews with Sammo Hung and stuff like that. But, you know, again... If you can find this, pick it up, because this is a good Blu-ray, and I definitely need to pick up the other uh, stuff that they Eureka put out with Sammo Hung. And hopefully more is coming. Um, obviously, there's a lot more films that he's done that uh, are not on Blu-ray that I would definitely like to check out. And I, you know, maybe one day Marshall Law will get a Blu-ray. I did really like that show. I know there's a DVD of it, but it'd be cool if there was a Blu-ray of it, too. So we'll see. But at the end of the day... Like I said, it is kind of hard for me to review a movie like this that's so well-known and a classic, but I absolutely love it. From start to finish, it's a classic. It has a great, cuts at a great pace. You have a good mix of the gunplay and the martial arts. Solid cast. Actually, this is where Sammo Hung met his wife, uh, Joyce, and they've been together for many years. So there you have it. So at the end of the day, Eastern Condors rocks, and if you've never seen it, you need to check it out. It is definitely, I'm going to keep saying it, it's a classic because it never gets old. But I hope that you guys enjoyed my review of it. Next up, the last movie that you'll want me to take a look at is another classic Hong Kong action film, and it's none other than Armor of God with Jackie Chan, or as it's known here in America, Operation Condor 2, The Armor of the Gods. So we'll get into all that in the next one. But until then, take care. We will talk later. See you.